Attorney Sidney Powell is, uh, you know, facing literally billions of dollars in defamation lawsuits from both Dominion Voting Systems and Smartmatic and a couple of other lawsuits throughout the rest of the country as well. And uh, recently during an appearance on a right wing show, she whined about the fact that she doesn't have even the tiniest fraction of the amount of money that she is being sued for. Here's how she said. Uh, we're going to continue the litigation. Dominion is suing me personally for 1.3 billion. And then Smartmatic is suing me for 2.7 billion, I think in New York. And then Eric Coomer, who used to work with Dominion is suing me in Colorado. I mean, we need to take a number system now for people who want to sue me. Uh, I don't have the tiniest fraction of that amount of assets. We could write that check and watch it bounce to infinity and beyond. So what happens, right? I mean, that's the big question. You're being sued again, literally billions of dollars over $4 billion. Sidney Powell is being sued for. And it's pretty obvious. I've mentioned this in the past. Sidney Powell didn't have $4 billion. I don't know what Sidney Powell's net worth is, but I've been on the legal circuit for over 17 years now and hadn't heard her name you know, <laughs> until she started these election challenges. So I have to imagine she's not, you know, one of these heavy hitter lawyers worth hundreds of millions of dollars. But even if she were still not enough, still not enough to pay for these lawsuits. And so she's joking out there like, I'll write you a check and we could just watch it bounce and bounce. Um, by the way, you actually can't knowingly write a check that you know is going to bounce. Like you, you will get arrested for that. So just, just so you know, I mean, I know you're a lawyer, but even suggesting that kind of raises a bunch of red flags there, Sydney, you should, you should understand that you can't even threaten to write a check that's going to bounce. Here's the thing, Sydney Powell, let's assume she loses all these lawsuits because I'm fairly confident she's going to lose all of these lawsuits. She's not going to get popped for $4 billion. Okay. I don't think any court in the country would agree to the number that Dominion and Smartmatic are actually suing her for. That is unrealistic. And I doubt that they can show damages justifying that amount of money. So the numbers are going to be smaller, but the numbers could still be, you know, depending on how many lawsuits she loses, could be a hundred million or more, could be just tens of millions. And again, I don't know what Sidney Powell's financial status is like, but from what she said in this interview here, it doesn't sound like it's very good. So what happens then if she loses these cases, even if the judgments come down a little bit, how does she pay? If she can't pay, what happens to her then? Sad part is pretty much nothing. Oh, she'll be in debt to these individuals for the rest of her life. You know, she will essentially become a pauper with almost every penny she owns going to these companies and individuals who sued her successfully, but she's not going to go to jail. Um, you know, there's, there's certain instances actually where you can go to jail for not paying a civil judgment. However, that's only if you fail to show up for court, if you're challenging the, it, it's very weird and complicated, but basically just because you owe money that you can't pay, you cannot legally throw somebody in jail for that here in the United States. I know there's plenty of exceptions that we've seen over the years, but Sidney Powell is not going to be an exception. So she's not going to go to jail if she can't pay. What will happen is they will just garnish her wages. If she ever makes wages again for the rest of her life, probably in order to pay off this money. You know, if she has any assets, if she has a second or third home anywhere, she would have to sell those. They would probably seize those actually before she could sell them to help pay it down. But the bigger question is if she loses, they garnish her wages, they take money out of her checks, whatever, who's going to hire her, right? I mean, that's the other part. Like what is her actual earning potential if she loses all of these cases? I have to imagine it drops down to like $0 a year. You know, somebody eventually is going to go through a Wendy's drive through and Sidney Powell is going to be the one handing them their, you know, Baconator. But it is what it is. And I'm not knocking anybody that works at Wendy's, by the way. I'm just saying that's about the only kind of employment she could look forward to 
because of what she has done to her reputation and her legal career, which again, she may even be barred from practicing law. So she's not even going to make the big bucks necessary to pay off these lawsuits in a timely manner. So again, she's going to be paying these things off for the rest of her life. Even if these judgments come significantly down, even if they're cut by a to a 10th of what they currently are, there's no way in hell she's ever going to be able to pay it off.